Our Ask Mamilo episode 20, the topic is that one tip to save yourself from flash floods or disasters. I will focus on the recent flash floods that happened in Davao region, recently from Sunstar dated February 2, 2024. The rough and low pressure area LPA has impacted around 3,000 families in Davao region, according to the Office of the Civil Defense in Davao region, OCD Davao report as of February 1, 2024. The affected families have increased no, to 3,510 with 2,103 families in Davao de Oro, 1,368 in Davao Oriental, and 729 in Davao City. Evacuation centers in Davao de Oro are hosting 96 families, while in Davao Oriental are 105 families. Floods have affected seven barangays in Davao de Oro and eight in Davao Oriental, with five landslide incidents in Davao Oriental and seven in Davao de Oro. Three roads in both provinces remain impassable due to landslides and flooding. Davao Oriental experienced power interruptions in five barangays, while Davao de Oro had water interruptions in two barangays. At least 444 local government units, LGUs, in the region have declared class suspensions, and 24 have announced work suspensions. Mr. Ednard G. Dayanghirang, Regional Director of OCD Davao. Good morning, Sir Ednar stated that damages primarily involve infrastructure such as roads and bridges and crops that have suffered due to flooding. So, mga katribo, what do you feel about this? Take note, this is just LPA. This is not a tropical storm. This could be worse, right? So, inhale and exhale. Let me know your thoughts. I encourage you to post your questions and reactions. Are you curious what is important and only tip that you can that can save us from climate change disasters? Number one clue is that it's something you need to acquire. Number two, it's free of charge. Are you following? Number three, it is for every walks of life, for all, for everyone, no matter what your age or status. And the answer is preparedness. Preparedness. Preparedness is something anyone must have in times of disaster. Preparedness is free of charge because it comes out from your own initiative, right? Preparedness is for everybody because a kid can be trained how to be prepared. A poor person can have better chance of survival if he is ready in terms of disaster. You can find tips in the internet and government. Also, it's an ongoing campaign on climate change disaster, but it will all go to waste. Because what manifests during disaster or calamities is fear, panic, and also, what else? Mm -hmm. Anxieties. Should you not prepare yourself for this, right? So how do you know if you are prepared from all forces of nature disasters? The seen and not seen. This is to inform you from my experience as an area coordinator of PCUP and as a mother. This is Mamelu's preparedness checklist. Checklist. Check. 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 List. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Try to find it if you can check all the boxes. Are you ready? Or are you really truly prepared? Number one. You have your own evacuation plan. Uh, number one, it can be going to the rooftop, going to higher grounds, just like what Phyllis, naming this one is suggested, transporting your family and fur babies. You know, fur babies are the dogs, the cats, 
even the rabbits, if you have one, no? Because sometimes the persons evacuate and then the four babies, especially the dogs, are left and nakatali sila. They are tied, no? Or they are put in their cages. Or contacting some persons, no? Some persons should you need assistance. Do you have that? Sino ang tatawagan mo, no? In case of emergency. Na one call or one text away. Okay, if yes... Yes, so you have your own evacuation plan. You can, check you can check this. Okay, check. Number one, your evacuation plan. Check. Number two, your food, water, medicines, important documents, other personal necessities are ready to grab should a flood rises up or in need to evacuate. Do you have that? You in from our experience, you know, we have a mezzanine floor in our home in Lanang. So every time that the water rises in our area, because it's a, it's a fl flood flood prone and also flooded area, especially when it's high tide. So we are near near the coastal areas. So what we do is that we have to bring our four babies there. Then also the the personal necessities, no, our temporary, you know. In Tagalog, we said that arenola, then water and everything, the food, and even the cooking, uh, the stove, and then our heater. We already bring that, no? Because we have possibility that because in the past, we had been trapped. We cannot go down. The water is so high on the waistline that we really have to even ask help, no? Because we cannot eat and can have our personal necessities. So our lesson is that we have your food, waters, medicines. Important documents, no? The flooding that happened really has destroyed a lot of documents, even memories, no? Pictures in the accumulated we have kept for so long are all wet, no? During the flood. So easy and necessary to grab. So it's not so heavy, no? It's a carry, carry bag, no? Should, and then if you decide. So our design of the house now, we really have to have rooftop, right? Because we we can have to stay. When we were in in Carmen, we saw that almost the no, no, the water has already reached you no know, the the windows area. So do you have that? If yes, check it. No food, medicines, and important documents. Number three, you are healthy and physically fit, or no tubes. So please. No tubes. Mm, no tubes attached to your body because transporting a patient can be dangerous. Are you healthy enough to administer your own safety? If so, then check it. No, So check. Then, is your spiritual practice for your faith or religion is consistent? So do you go to Mass? Do you pray in the morning, in the afternoon? Is it consistent? Meaning spending a day to dedicate a prayer or meditation to harness your instinct. Because, you know, when you are in the state of stillness, sometimes you can pick up really all these vibrations, no? So alertness and focus during the challenging time. So do you really spend time, no? Regardless of religion, do you spend time to pray, to meditate, and even to, to bless other people? So you can also check this item. Now, if yes, then check. If not, then think about it. Number five, are you constantly updating yourself with what is happening in the community? Not just on text, Facebook, Messenger. I need to be clear on this and specify on this item because you can be misinterpreted. Yes? That's why I will be giving examples. One example. Example. Example 1. We all know that garbage is a big factor in flash floods. Did we participate in Barangay Bayanihan? No. When we pass by the flood areas and then the water has receded, because there are portions that the water has receded, garbage everywhere. So, have we participated even in our advocacy in the barangay or to really take these issues that it will not go to the canals, the drainage, and all this stuff, no? 
Then, example number two, infra projects are rampant in Davao City, Davao de Oro, Davao Oriental, Davao del Norte, and all in the Davao region that is currently affected by flash floods. And you know, my reflections during that time is that there were roads constructed, but there was no drainage or there was no riprap higher than the roads, especially when we pass by in Carmen. So really, the water goes directly to the roads and affected the transportation activities. So how we, did we participate in these infra projects? Have we tried to reach out to our barangay or participate in the consultation before implementing infrastructure project? Because you know, the barangay consultation does not require a proof that majority of the people are consulted. It's only a proof of consultation, and sometimes they do it one short time with short notice. Really, brothers and sisters, that's how the infrastructure project is being undertaken. And when, no, not just ranting on Facebook, did we ask the barangay for the flood control plan on this project? Because, you know, we have one area, the barangay, issued a certificate of no objection from one very big hardware they closed the water exit and now it's in naka -intrap na, no? the trap the water during floods has entrapped one village in our area and the city engineers and you know what they did i think the the lg has filed a case but they changed their company's name so it has really but had it been that the barangay has asserted that to ensure that there is an exit of the water coming from that one village, that area. And now, if you will visit that area, rain or shine, the canal is not drained. No, no purpose for drainage. So, but you know, it comes back to us. Have we participated or have we really engaged ourselves? So all these infra projects, how will it affect me because sometimes we have this attitude I want it does not affect me it, it's okay no but sometimes it is connected just like what Joey Ayala has sung to us about kalikasan ang lahat ng bagay ay magkaugnay lahat ng bagay ay magkaugnay okay so most importantly did we participate in monitoring the project during and after the implementation, have we truly participated in developing, in the development of our community? Can we check on this item honestly? No, I mean, I'm asking you, have we really? You know, in our barangay, there's a drainage project. And then also the bar the water, every time that there is rain there, the, 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 uh, no, the garbage are flowing into the drainage. And now it's a covered drainage. You know, I, I can speak for our barangay, which I have a direct knowledge. So what we just do is to inform the barangay you know, that, oh, and send pictures. That is the least because uh, that we can do to give feedback. And then also sometimes it is being done, it is being cleansed. But you know, in a lot of infrastructure projects of drainage, the contractors that not really clean, even the debris that is falling on the drainage that is new. The cements, the you know, all these things, you know, the mix of the, you know, and even the waste. So it's not clean, so they just cover it up. No, really, really, I have watched and witnessed that. So have we, maybe we can just do something about this. You know, we can check you know, just in front of our you know, homes, our barangay, our community. You know, we cannot have the big thing doing it. You know? So have we, because it will all come back to us. So, how was Mommy lose this? Is, no, truly. Can you, check, can you check this last item honestly and honestly? Please check. Don't you know? No, this is an additional information. Don't you know that BIFA has declared that the bangus that we eat because it is a mass production, but to, to our uh, protein supply for our nutrition has already been found to have contained microplastic in their system more agarai so we think that it's cheap and it's a better option the bangus but you know before said if you watch on the television that there is no scientific evidence that it is harmful to humans but what is microplastic what is the content of microplastic but we still want to eat bangus right 
So I think we have to do our part, no? Make sure that our garbage does not reach the canal of our villages, the the rivers and the creeks and the seas. Huh? It could be an of interest to your friends and families. So how was Mamelo's disaster preparedness? Checklist. Check. List. <laughs> Did you pass it? Or with flying colors? Yes. Congratulations. If not, no need to worry. This is solvable, no? Because we can do it in at our own level. So before I'll proceed, let me know your thoughts, comment down your opinions and your reactions about this episode. This video will also be uploaded in the official Facebook, so please like and follow. So my my hair is, is stretching already because of the seriousness of the topic. No, but it's good, no? We, we have a chica chica here and talk about it, no? Because we, we see the results. So back to our topic, the best time to be prepared was yesterday. The second best time is now, right? So if you don't have an evacuation plan for now, for your family or your four babies, make one now. Try to keep it simple and practical. You know, sometimes I have discussions with my children. Number two, if you don't have an emergency kit, balde, have it now. Really, truly. No, the balde and even the empty containers, you don't have to throw it away. Sometimes during flood, we can also have that use as floaters. Then noodles, canned goods, have it. May not be advisable because you might need to bring cooking utensils, no? And stove. So fruit, powdered milk, water is more practical, right? No? So have it ready talaga. It's light. It has vitamins in it and you can give it your enough no energy for the day. No? And even fresh vegetables. We can be reminded we can even carry, just like even spices, ginger, uh, garlic. No, you, you, we can even, you know, this morning I have a little irritation on my throat, no cough after the exposure in the, in the field. And then I just chew a ginger and drink water. And I think it's okay na. You know, so imagine. So even turmeric. So if you are not healthy, start living a healthy life now. Really, really, really. Because it would be more challenging during disasters or calamities if we are not healthy. Because when we get upset and all these things, so our blood sugar will shoot up. Even our blood pressure will do the same. So we really have to, to do something with our health. no? So find a community that promotes good health, such as Zumba. So if you are in the community, try to get in touch with the homeowners association. They have some healthy activities and then also try to... Zumba. So that's why in our community uh, allows us to, to find healthy friend and body. You know, when you join Zumba, you have this mga uh, who walks around the village. These are persons who are really having a uh, effort no? to live healthy. So you can find your body and friend. No, Sometimes you walk alone later on, you interact and all this stuff. So really find, no? need to find one good body. This time, sometimes our friends or family members are already abroad or they are away. So, exert an effort to find a good body. There is one there waiting for you no, to become a good body. And then also, uh, you can also ask help in the future. You know, in our community now, we, we have this body-body system because there are old uh, members in our senior citizens. So, we have who would be comfortable just like if they would be rushed to the hospital if they have this emergency uh who will really take or look after them especially when they are already old or sometimes it's an ailing and aging also parents no they're staying also with an ailing and aging parents so ask yourself what are the type of foods i'm eating uh, check check this morning, yesterday, many, many years ago, what food are you eating, huh? Is it healthy or it's something delicious that can result in inflammation of our organs, which hinders us to think and act during emergency situ situations? You know, sugar, oh, sugar is really doing harm us, no? Especially for us, so our senior and also have challenges. Number four, if you are not prayerful, start praying and meditating now. 
I encourage you to join the healing orientation and meditation in the pranic healing, no? Uh, yeah. Because it's free, no? We're available nationwide, both online and face-to-face. -face. You know, there is an offline also, no? So you can really join us. It's There is a community there and you are sure that these are healthy and happy people praying together and doing service, no? Just like the prayer of St. Francis of Assisi, we bless our Mother Earth to be able to overcome the stress. And so spend time, you know, 20 minutes of praying and stillness can really help us a lot, no? You don't have to to really have that all the rituals. Huh? So spend time to pray. So Pranic Healing is offering this uh, window door no, to pray together then if you have not participated in your community development start participating now speak up and be heard because only barangay, barangay can, can only... yes you know our barangay can only assume what is good for us unless we speak up you know we have an interaction with the ILG and we were talking about this program for gender and development involving youth and also the women and the elderly, they confess that according to their findings, I will not say what particular city is, but they really have to go through. That's only the barangay treasurer and the secretary who would figure out on the plan. They don't have enough time to consult. No, it's easy to spend government funds, catering, no, attendance sheet, lang good na o activity design. But the, the energy of the budget ba can be expanded. So why not propose potluck so that we can participate? Because many can participate. oh, many can participate because you know they would tell us, you know, mom, this budget is only good for thirty participants. This budget is also maximum na fifty. But if we we change ba, we change. But we have to speak up and really assert because we have to help the barangay, also because we have to engage our community members that you know we have to potluck and so that we can have one hundred participants or there could be two sessions. Now I'm I'm requesting. No, it's an everywhere, wherever you are. No, let us really speak out and help out, because we have to do something about this thing, the basic thing. No, the even the, the garbage, the preparedness, and even the psychological preparation for the residents. No, in times of this. So, so that's it. No, if you have not participated in our community development, stop. Start participating now. Oh, it's it's good to talk about it also. No, our disaster plan, openly and I know good regularly. No, that could be one of the topic. That ends. Ask Mamelu episode twenty, entitled "That One Tip to Save Yourself from Flash Floods," and that is preparedness, physical, emotional, mental, psychological, and spiritual preparedness. Because wherever we are caught in the situation, we must be prepared. No? Remember, good, good, things. good things come to those who do what is right. And it's not a question of who is right, but to do the right thing to do.